are. We are co-creators. We are not just immortals trapped in the mire. As co-creators, we have a symbiotic relationship with the very medium that is our enemy, the simulacrum. We have this relationship. It must obey. It does not want to, but it will because it's much easier to create for you the things that you want than to fight against you because the law of conservation of energy applies. If you're not going to be among the herd, then it's going to knit for you the reality that you're trying to get, and it's going to do it quickly to isolate you because now you have become a contagion, and it needs to keep you separate from the others before they too start doing the same thing. Hence, my removal from Facebook. I was power posting on Facebook. I was releasing a, not like I am on YouTube, on Facebook, I was on Facebook every single day answering 10 to 30 comments a day, some of them in depth. And many of you who know me on Facebook know I'm telling the truth. I was on it every day, not just releasing original posts, but bringing up older posts and applying new relevance to them and genuinely answering all the comments. I was power posting. The simulacrum does not want me, does not want me or you to detach others from the herd so it did something really really unique it edited me right off facebook and that's okay that's okay i'm prepared to be edited off youtube if it happens i've got everything backed up i'm already thinking about another platform now but i'll be here till it happens if it happens i don't know i might need to run my office algorithm on myself and see what's going on man that coffee's so good So how do we escape this madness? Well, I'm going to have to quote G.I. Joe. Knowing is half the battle. That's what these last two live videos are about. Once you're aware of what, what, what's occurring, this phenomenon, this, this, inter this exchange between you and reality, because it is, if you don't view, if you don't view your actions as commiserate to consequences in this reality, then you'll never create anything. Anything. You just won't. You have accepted the fact that you live in a reactive mode and that the universe obeys principles that are separate from you and that you must obey. And you, you just, you're, you're part of the herd. It's real simple. You've accepted that. Now, if you want to build, if you want to build things in your life, new experiences, you want to go, if you want to go by unexpected ways, if you want to meet new people, if you want to create new circumstances, if you want to build old relationships back that have died, if you want to do things that you wanted to do earlier in life but didn't because you raised a family, if you have many things that you have left undone but you want to do them now, all it takes is the desire to do it and then a follow-up action start moving in that direction the simulacrum will instantly start knitting new reality tunnels hoping to corral you into into something that will change your mind or another easy easy control mechanism that it has it's not going to expend any energy because remember remember it is subject to the law of conservation of energy it's going to try to corral you into the next thing the, ne the next thing that it's already d corralled a bunch of people into but if you keep moving in your own direction and not ones that are laid out before you, it's finally going to yield. It's going to separate the contagion from the masses, which is you, and it's going to surround you with all the things that you're looking for because that's, that also is the law of conservation of energy. Do you understand? Do you really understand what I'm telling you? If you're causing a problem to the simulacrum by going your own way, your own thoughts, and you're following it through with your own deeds, it will induce you into other reality tunnels that are also popular. They just weren't known to you. But if you avoid all of them and only go in your direction with your focus, with your intent, with what you want to do, the simulacrum is not going to expend a tremendous amount of energy keep throwing out carrots. It's not. It's, gonna, it's so much less energy to go ahead and give you what you want. 
give you what you want, surround you with the, what you want, bring you back into contact with the things that you want, bring the, 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 thing, the material blessings that you want, give it all to you, satisfy you, and by that satisfaction, it separates you from the herd. It separates you from the dungeon programming. Because to continue to fight you and to fight all the other people like Jason that live that type of lifestyle also is too much. It doesn't have unlimited resources. That's why it creates dungeon programming. It's why it creates culture. It's why it creates nationalism. It's why it creates societies. It's to pigeonhole people in the collective so they will all do the same thing every day every night believe the same thing every day every night and as long as they are predictable the simulacrum is not expending much energy becoming unpredictable expends a tremendous amount of energy and if a whole bunch of people are doing it then there's a problem we're heading towards systemic collapse of the simulacrum itself that is called an awakening event so are we going through a mass awakening? No. A lot of people think we are. A lot of people think we're, well, it's a mass awakening. Uh, all the, you know what? We're heading down a false trail. The elite have laid for a trap. The simulacrum's on board for it. And let me tell you, it's not. Many people are going to fall for the new society that's coming, up, coming fast upon us. A hedonistic Sodom and Gomorrah, Atlantis type society where all your needs are met. Your metaverse lifestyle is going to be so, so fascinating and popular. Your sex life is going to be so good in the metaverse. Listen, they're, they are laying down the foundations for a utopian society this world has never seen before. And this is when those prophecies will be fulfilled. They were eating, they were drinking, they were partying, they were marrying, and then the sudden destruction come upon. Remember, the Phoenix event does not come when everybody's expecting it. That tells me, that, that eschatological fact tells me that in the next 18 years somewhere, Jason's going to be edited out. Because I know for a fact that as long as Jason is right here living in this timeline, he's going to be a klaxon horn trying to warn as many people as possible about the unfolding of the events in the future up into the Phoenix and afterward. That's what Jason's going to do. But that's not what the prophecies convey. The prophecies convey that damn near the whole world's going to get caught off guard. It's going to be 18 years from now. And that's because what the world is going to be Right now, it's all chaos. Right now, it's all chaos. This is going to happen. Uh, next year's going to be bad. Uh, we, had this, we had this disease. Take out everybody in the world. Man, it's, just, it's so crazy. All the, every single month, it's a new chaos. But all that's going to come to a quick end real soon. And it's going it's to get really strange and surreal. It's going to get almost peaceful. And people are going to collectively take a breath. Dungeon programming is going to kick in like you've never seen before, but it's not going to be like it, it's been in the past. It's going to be a clever, clever Machiavellian flip. People are going to sign up for this dungeon programming like the world has never seen. And I hope none of you listening to my voice are going to be a part of that. Me, before they come on my door, I'll be further out in the country. Yeah, because remember... The simulacrum is subject to the law of conservation of energy. There are always, always resistance groups that live on the fringes of control systems. And they thrive. Yeah, some of them get messed off. Yeah, some of them get captured. Yeah, some of them die. But this is all. Remember, life is a stage. We're, you're not supposed to be scared of death. Death isn't anything but an exit from this holography. You're coming right back in it. You don't know what you're going to be next, female or male. So, that's dungeon programming, my friends. Dungeon programming is herd mentality. It is a life of stasis. And it is exactly what the simulacrum wants humanity to be. Because it's easily controlled and it doesn't take a lot of energy. It